<clears throat> all right guys so underneath here is the blitzer beetle where we're at right now um but before i pull this off where we're at again i'm totally in the weathering spot but i don't want to spill the beans because after this um you're going to see the video of me doing the painting and some of the work and where i was going and then we'll come back to this exact scene and i'll show you uh, where we're at uh, there's going to be another video with a lot of the detail work and all that but i think we've come a long way spent uh several hours on it at this point watching videos and so no comments but i'm watching you guys <laughs> i'm watching so i'll be right back and um then we'll do a reveal all right guys hopefully this turns out all right not sure about this can of paint oh it's coming out nice i'll be back once she's all done all right now just some dry time it's looking pretty good see all that metallic in there Rise. Be back with some weathering. Be back in a minute. Hopefully, you guys dig. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so, here we're at. We're going to start the weathering. You can see my light top coat. That's supposed to be what the color was. Um, but I'll do a reveal on the colors I chose. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys dig what I'm doing. I'm having fun with it whatever if it don't turn out right it don't turn out right but my thought is this this is probably pieced together for the genre i'm looking for in the end i'm not even going to get into that yet because that might spill the beans um going to be a little delay on finishing it up because i'm waiting for a few items i ordered on ebay um, i want to show you this so you guys dig that see that well but that turned out so awesome so what i did for that um i don't know if you guys remembered but my silver base um that was an enamel um and then i went over it with a uh, metal um rustoleum what do you call that the rustoleum uh primer um so i was thinking about when i worked in the paint department and we made these crackles and it, it was marbleizing and all that and when you put a latex especially the cheapest latex you can the worse paint the better on top of an enamel it shrinks and it does this cracking so i think that turned out pretty freaking cool i'll sand it down and make it look a little more warm but that's where we're starting with that now i also did that on the wheels um so when i you can see it that's on purpose so it looks cool you can see the silver underneath so my ideas are working i mean I'm, I, I didn't know if i was going to do it right or not so but i think i think that turned out good um i'm going to start sanding and getting that salt off it getting her going man that's sweet that's sweet that looks cool that looks cool so anyways I'll be right back um we'll get the sand out and i'll start showing you what i'm doing Okay guys, <clears throat> you get the idea. This is the first tool I'm using. It's just a wire vinyl brush, and that's just to knock most of the salt off. But you get the idea, man. It's already starting to look pretty good. It's getting the, the look I'm looking for, and you can see the white where it was on top, and then you got the brush showing through. You see the edges are showing up. This is starting to show, shape up. So I'm gonna work at this. This takes some time. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this guy yet. That's another story. This is just the first tool. If I switch tools, I will uh, come back and show you where we're at. Okay? See you in a minute. All right, so I'm going to switch tools now. Um, actually, I'm going to switch methods. I'm going to take this into the... So take some warm water with a sponge, uh, just a regular house sponge, and then I'll come back afterwards show you where we're at because we need to brush more. But see where the scar is coming through. It's looking good. It's looking real good. Starting to shape up. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So <clears throat> at this point, uh, I just got done doing the. Uh, so I forgot the video after I got done with the sponge. But that was just you know knocking the salt off. Once I did that, then I took the wire brush and I went over and you can see where it pulls out that rust look. 
And then you see if you keep going further, you get down to that enamel. That's that hardened enamel on the bottom, the silver. Same thing that causes the silver here. So, but I think it's turning out pretty good. Now next, we're on the detail work. So, not sure about that yet. We'll see. I don't know, it's not bad. But all in all, you see the weather is coming along good. Uh, I'm not gonna take any more off at this point. Uh, I'm gonna just start detailing uh, using the markers. So it's time for some Gundams. So we'll get all of our markers out and then have at it. So um, we'll see where it goes. Cause I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this one. It's not military greens, <laughs> but I'll be back once we get that done. So. Um, and then I got some, that once I get the detailing uh, started and where, where I'm headed, um, then we'll probably end this video. And um, the last video for this will be all the extras, um, all the things like the front, the lights, the, the um, mirrors, the glass, the figure. That'll all be just one last video. Um, and then any other detail work that's happened in between. So, but yeah, I think it's come along nice. Hopefully you guys do too. I'll be right back. All right, guys, you ready? So I think it's coming across pretty good, man. Um, I don't know. You tell me. I still need some time, but, uh, this is be the end of the video and I'm pretty freaking happy, man. Um, it's come along real good. Now, I started using the silver marker. I haven't done any black at all, but also I was able to take, uh, because it's black, any of the, the good seams, I was just taking the razor and cutting the, the paint right out and it leaves black underneath. So um, I am gonna black highlight and then do the finishing touches and decide what I'm gonna do the, ex the extra parts and, and paint the driver. That'll all be the last video. A lot of, a lot of pictures. By the end of this, you'll see a bunch of stills um, of the process, not this part, but I think it turned out pretty awesome, um, at least where we're at. So I'm going to do some more. You, you guys know how, the guys that have done this before know how this goes. This is just kind of a work in progress, um, but I think I'm pretty happy to put the video out with this. It's come a long way. It's a lot different than what it started with, and this is starting to grow on me a little bit. I don't know. We'll see when I get the black out, when I start doing the highlighting. Because um, remember, the highlights are more for video, so you can see the accents better. Man, that came out good. But, I don't know. Like and subscribe, guys. I, I really, really am enjoying this. Um, I actually think I want to do all, get, get more hard body RCs, just so I can do this kind of stuff. Um, I'd like to do crawlers, but they're too expensive. Um, I can get some MN or something. I don't know. I just, I just really dig it. So maybe we'll have a special night a uh, week. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Where, like, I'll call it scaling or something where I just do this kind of work, this kind of painting. Um, that way I'm not, like, one night. You know, you guys know how I'm trying to switch things up a little and um, have actual themes to the video and the content. I'm trying to get a little more organized because I'm going to do this um, more than not. It's a good purpose for me. And it's a way for me to, you know, share my journey and have it so me there's memories. So anyways, like and subscribe, guys. Um, a little mention of this. For those that don't know, um, this is a Boy Scout handkerchief. Um, this is the one I had when I was a child and I was a Life Scout. So I, I did quite a bit. Um, only thing I didn't do was get my uh, uh, passport. I never did that. Um, and that would have made me an eagle. That and the service pro Anyways. Anyway, here and here, there. This is a hand embroidered. When I was a child, they made these for our troop, so I've always kept it. It's a good memory for me. Plus, it fit well. So, anyways, do a little TMI. I'll talk to you guys later. Ah, uh, peace out. See ya. <laughs>